very good afternoon to everyone. I hope uh, after a tasty lunch, you are all attentive to listen to the next lecture by Dr. Ashish uh, Vasish. Uh, he has completed his BDS from uh, Mysore University. And uh, he has uh, done his master's in uh, cortical implantology uh, from uh, NSI Implants in Italy in uh, 2016. Uh, he is working as a mentor and consultant in ca cortical implantology and has done over 6,000 implants. Uh, he has completed a certificate course in basic implantology and also integration in 2003. A uh, certificate course in bone augmentation and grafts in 2004. He has completed a certificate course in endopore. Uh, advanced course in implantology from Orthograph France. Uh, he is a life member of Indian Society of uh, Oral Implantologists, a life member of Academy of Oral Implantology. Uh, uh, welcome, Dr. Ashish. Uh, Good afternoon, everybody. As uh, told by Dr. Girish, I am Dr. Ashish Vashisht. I, am, uh, I come from a holy city, Haridwar. It's in Uttarakhand. And uh, maybe today, I wish to speak something non-scientific. Maybe I'll be covering up the business part of implantology, right? And we have seen a lot of great and good cases presented today. Now, we should learn the financial aspect also. Think about it. And I'll be comparing basal and two-piece implantology, the cost factors. I'm into implantology since 2003. I've been doing conventional two-piece implants for almost 10 years. Luckily, 2012, I came to know about something called basal. Those days, it was basal. And slowly, I started liking it, then started working with them. And really, it changed my life. That's why I'm in front of you. If I had been sticking to those two pieces, Maybe I was maybe one among one lakh people, one lakh dentists. But now I'm so very lucky, so very thankful to Dr. Virendra. He has given me this opportunity to be in front of you and back in Bangalore because I have studied in Karnataka itself. And if you want, I can speak a bit of Kannada also. I like the language a lot. And uh, like, Still, there are butterflies, you know. <laughs> Kindly bear with me. I'll be comfortable in a few minutes. <clears throat> sir. About this conference, like, I've been watching Dr. Virendra and his team working like anything. I, I was watching them very closely. Morning, 6.30, 7, they used to start until 9. And yesterday, they were here till, I think, 1 o'clock. So much of hard work, really, it's appreciable. And I don't think such courses are conducted anywhere in the world. The ones who did the course with Dr. Virendra, really, including me, we are very lucky to see him speak, him see him work. Really, we are very lucky. Oh, again, it is something related to, I'll call it science or something. I think everybody can read it. I need not explain further. Let me go to the point. Again, same thing. Why we need implants, increased need of implants, aging population, tooth loss related to age, poor performance of removable processes, Predictable long-term result of implant-supported prosthesis. Predictable is the important word here. Now, when patient comes to us, there's so many questions coming into our mind. So many things are there. Just have summed up in a diagram here. Here you see, uh, we are thinking about which implant to place. 
left is a, as you know, bicortical screw, then compression screws, then two-piece conventional implant is there. We are thinking, so many thoughts are coming into mind, how much a cortical implant will cost, what will the two-piece conventional implant will cost, definitely two pieces, as you know, are expensive, could be three or four times more expensive. And here I have divided them, you know, cortical, polished bicortical screws, compressive rough surface screws, conventional. Then in con conventionals we have infinite varieties of them are there, infinite brands are there. We are confused which brand to use. Yeah, again, uh, we are overloaded with choices, which I said, bicortical implants or two-piece conventional implants. And a sorry state of affairs in our country, like uh, we are not marketing basils that good. The way other uh, two-piece companies are doing, they are very aggressive. Even our patients, he knows about noble biocare. Sometimes they'll ask, okay, I, doctor, I want a noble biocare implant. So I can do that, but I have to convince the patient okay, I'm doing something much, much better, much quicker than a noble biocare implant. Though noble biocare, they are pioneers in implantology. I respect the company. Nothing bad about them. Again, Darwin's theory, survival of fittest, as you know. So, what will survive? Basal or two-piece conventional? That is something to be thought about. Now, this is my topic. I'll try to stick to it. And uh, I've made a huge presentation, but uh, there's time restriction here. So I've cut my slides. I'll make it very brief, very short. Now why cortical implants? You are hearing since morning, cortical, cortical. I've summed up some points. Procedure is very, very uh, non-invasive kind of procedure. It's not very expensive. Maybe even we can do without a CBCT. If, we, we, if CBCT is available, okay, definitely we should use it, but can be avoided at many of the times. Basils can be combined with natural dentition or two-piece conventional implants also. And most important, they can be placed in medically compromised patients like diabetics or patients with some hormonal imbalances and, okay, smokers. Treatment time is very short. Dr. Virendra completed, I think, four courses, four cases in two days' time start to finish. That was amazing. It was great. Nothing can be that quicker. It cannot be. It can never be that quicker. Aesthetics, definitely. Aesthetics are good. If you do it in the right way, aesthetics will be amazing. They'll be very good. And they are kind of pocket friendly. They are cheaper implants, cheaper for us, cheaper. Again, they'll become cheaper for the patients too. And Patient save a lot of money. Patient, you finish a case in two days' time. So, less trauma to the patient. Waiting for six months or sometimes eight months. And all the time, patient will be thinking, like, when again I'm going to my dentist, again he'll be putting some injections, stretching my mouth open. 
and all those things are not usually required in basils. Now here, I have requested one of my colleagues, he is in USA, to send one of his cases along with a few of his radiographs and I was more interested in how much does a full mouth cost in USA so that we can just compare. So this is what he has sent to me. Cornerstone dentistry is his practice. He's doing a lot of implants in very nice ways. This lady, a dentulous lady, she wears an upper denture. Her low, lower denture was the one which was creating a lot of problems. So she decided she'll go for all on four, absorb bridge you see here. So best idea is all on four here. And now she's worried about her upper jaw. See, Dr. Thomas here describes no bone there. So he has expanded sinuses here, you see. And uh, so he suggested a lot of grafts, ridge splits and all, expensive procedures. And imagine the amount. Just for the upper, you can read it. How many? How many? Three, three, nine, nine, nine dollars. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. Patient refused the treatment. Patient said he's happy with the upper denture. Now Dr. Sini says, okay, he's coming to Bangalore to learn basils here with Dr. Virendra. Definitely next course. He'll be here. Now, this is a case, not a very beautiful case. Uh, let me tell you another thing. We should be maintaining our records, you know. I'm very poor in that, taking pictures and all. Most of the pictures, okay, sometimes I'll take out my mobile, I'll click a picture, unlike Dr. Rohan. Nice pictures in your presentation. So this is a case. And we told him, we'll finish off this case in $5,093 only. So, so cheap. Now this is a case because everybody is showing their cases, so I thought, okay, I'll show mine also. But forgive me about the photographs. This is pre-operative. Post-op. Now, those days, this is a three-year-old case. I was like, I always wanted to bed. It used to give me a lot of fun. So, so many implants were not required in the anterior region, but that bending thing, I said maybe another two, three implants I should put in, and because it, it was solid cortical, so that's how it happened. Like you see, na, those on Facebook, you see, maybe even Rohan's also, bending like this. And how you bend on the left side, same bend as on the right side. That is amazing how it is done. Still, I am not sure of that. <laughs> and so we did this. Okay, this lab. This is final process. This looks good. Not amazing, looks quite good. Hybrid. In mouth, this is just, uh, just before occlusal adjustment. Right? The computer is slower than me. <coughs> now this is uh, process is in my in the mouth, and patient is very happy. Right side is me. You want me to speak more? <laughs> or you'll excuse me? 
श्योर एन एफ ना मोर केसेस इट्स ओवर इट इट डेंट इवन स्टार्ट All right. I, I'm a little confused. Like, who should win this award, Dr. Rohan or Dr. Ashish? There has been this tough battle between two of them. Battle? No, no, no. <laughs> He's a brother. All right. I'm, I'm sure that uh, each one of you did enjoy the presentation, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so with this, I'm going to request uh, Dr. Virendra for to hand over the certificate, and at the same time, Dr. Prafulla to hand over the token of appreciation to Dr. Ashish. Dr. Ashish, I must say that we absolutely loved you. Uh, he is my teacher. I think I learned well prosthetics in my college from Dr. Thumati. I'm hearing a lot about him. I'm so very happy. God has blessed me. God bless you. Yes, please. I think ultimately the ground rule is to bring that smile and everybody is smiling out here. Thank you, sir. Purpose well served Thank you, sir. all the way from Haridwar to Namma Bengaluru. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us.